Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect where in the previous episode we were focusing on finishing off the majority of the work that is left in the facility and we got a forestry, technically two forestries because it is two separate designations and apparently it's got a cloaking tech because you can hardly see it in this light. We also uh, placed some more flooring around the place, we've got the security room, we've upgraded the uh, psychiatrist office with the flipboard and obviously put the leather sofa in there as well. And just did a lot of odds and ends. In this episode, we're going to be finishing off the prison completely. So that means putting in something around here, chop and changing things around, and just generally doing all of the little odds and extras. Now, what I want to do is, uh, well, for a start, I've removed the, uh, <laughs> the the tunnel that was around here. I did find the tunnel last episode, but didn't remove it, so I've uh, went ahead and done that. I want to then, obviously, place the flooring back in, because we did lose that. We have a total of 15 minimum security uh, prisoners coming, and four criminally insane. I've turned that on, but also what I want to do is go over to our intake and turn on prisoner transfer. This gives us one prisoner which is of a very high rating and this will also give us 15 grand so I want to know what a 15,000 payment prisoner is actually like. Now we already have a legendary prisoner over on the left hand side here. Actually technically they spend most of the time in this solitary area but that's uh, by and by. Uh, so I think what we'll do is get a prisoner from this prisoner transfer just to see what they are like. Now this has been uh, suggested a couple of times throughout the series because at the moment and basically forever now I think this has been a low risk facility. So it's been low risk and criminally insane. That was always the goal of this facility as well as obviously providing uh, some strength testing for the steel footbridges by putting loads of people on it. Anyway, uh, we have all of the criminally insane inmates here. They have been absolutely no bother whatsoever. We have uh, had them in this separate uh, area for quite some time and obviously they have their own canteen and holding cell and solitary and common room as well as all of the treatment that is required as well. So the psychiatrist's office and really hasn't been any particular extra challenge. It's been very interesting checking out some of their traits and seeing what sort of things that can happen to them and that uh, shower is actually damaged because ah, some people are actually agitated there. Yeah. But um, either way, we have looked after them. So what a lot of people would class as the fun part, which is uh, watching them kick off, well, we haven't seen because we have obviously looked after them, which I think is certainly the right thing to do. However, uh, this area here on the left hand side was originally designated for our protective custody. Protective custody being for things like, well, mainly ex-law enforcement, ex-prison guards, uh, and then marked targets like uh, noted snitches. However, we don't have any noted snitches because we haven't got anyone in solitary. Well, the people that we get in solitary are normally ones that we found with certain types of contraband. Um, in fact, actually, is that true? Let me double check. Uh, is that an overdose? It is an overdose, and... It looks like we have one of the doctors coming to sort that out anyway, so that's fine. Over to policy here, we can see that if we found weapons, tools, drugs, we give them lockdown and luxuries, we don't give them anything, we just take it off them. So actually, we don't even punish them and we can't get any confidential informants from solitary via finding things on them. It's only things like uh, destruction, escape attempt, that sort of thing, and mainly escape attempt because these prisoners don't fight, they haven't... Uh, had anything like that. We have had a couple of intoxications, which does require solitary, but either way, what I'm trying to say is we haven't had them in uh, in any sort of situation in solitary where we can recruit them as a confidential informant, which then can perhaps become a known snitch if you activate them too many times. You can also get them from an event, as well as, I think, rarely coming in as well, but I'm not too clear on that. Either way, we haven't had anyone fighting, so there's been no reason to use the protective custody like it originally was designed for. So instead what we've got is the protective custody more like a high-risk wing. So we feed them here, we uh, have the common room there and all that sort of thing, and we have uh, people patrolling with uh, obviously like the, the armed guards and that sort of thing as well. So that's what we have in here, and I think it would be 
definitely worth it in expanding this because we're going to get this uh, prisoner transfer now. I think it would be uh, a worthy inclusion and I've realised that that isn't staff only which is one of the worst things we could have possibly had although they can't get there to be uh, fair. What I'm also going to do is change that building to staff only because this is finally going to become a morgue. Yes I was originally thinking of maybe moving the cleaning cupboard and adding stuff here. You know what? I think I'm overcomplicating it. Having it like that where we just have this as I'm just going to have this like a little outside bench area, like a little park type thing, like a rest area, which makes sense around here. People coming and resting before the parole and things like that would uh, benefit uh, the, the facility, I think. Anyway, uh, that is now fine. That's set up fine. That's all as the correct rating. That should be our uh, in main. Well, that's insane sec only, yes. All of this should be two, like that. This is all set up. That's all set up as staff only. Uh, just doing a quick once pass across the facility. That should be... That should be about right. Okay, so over to our objects and then going over to the armory and we'll increase the guard lockers by doing that. And obviously we're going to have nowhere near this amount of armed guards in the facility, but we are going to have at least a couple more. So, unpaused it and let's see what a 16,000 prisoner is 15,000 my mistake so over to informants and we can see that we have a big stream of people coming through this is all of our visitors here we have the truck with nothing on the back of it so they'll be picking up the garbage and then we'll also have some garbage turn up no 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 don't be saying things like that we don't know what sort of prisoners we are going to get and apparently no prisoners of any rating so we must have another truck there's the Storkel and Criminally Insane, and that is full as well, so one more, and there we go. There's the Criminally Insane and Unknown. So, we have, for the Criminally Insane, Volatile, Strong, Storkel, Feeler, Strong, Volatile, Storkel, and Storkel. So nothing, nothing great there, nothing, um, what are clusters new and interesting? So, um, you have the Criminally Insane inmates here, and I'm trying to find their traits. See these have different traits but none of them I haven't really seen. Oh there you go. See it doesn't show there. So that's insomniac. It requires very little sleep. Depressed. Prisoner moves slow when feeling suppressed and untreated. Outbreaks. Prone to violent outbreaks damaging the environment around them. Yeah so it, it says criminally insane but it doesn't show you what the what we class as the extra criminally insane traits are. Claustrophobic. Prisoners are to escape the surroundings is much higher when feeling suppressed and untreated, but we are treating the prisoners because, well, we're doing, I believe, the right thing there. Uh, so we've got all of the intake here. We can see that we are escorting them inside, and we have... Oh, that's a legendary prisoner. So this is Adam... Naubati, prison number 5825140. Sentenced to 28 years for multiple crimes, including murder and perjury. Served 8.5 years out of 28 years. Character, reputation, none. However, we can clearly see from there they have unknown traits. They are going to be protective custody because, because of the physical size of them, they are so. Um, physically intimidating that that'll be a legendary prisoner that is the general rule of thumb in this game so we will uh, work on that assumption right so that is working over there let us go ahead and uh, hire another let's have a quick look another armed guard so i want to get another dog handler because we have sadly lost one of those and another armed guard like so and that door should be opened there we are that's fine um I probably also want to place a... So I'm just placing an automatic door there, but if they're coming in here, they're going to smash that open. So quite frankly, another secure door, another solitary door is probably worth it. Right, that's all in. I haven't done anything more with the staff room, but I don't particularly think anything else is really re required in here. Um, perhaps a couple more sofas would be beneficial, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if we really, really need them. Um, we'll place a couple sort of back to back like that. Like so. 
just to fill this up, you see. That's all we're really doing there. We'll have an arcade cabinet in. Um, it does say a bookcase, so maybe we'll place one in there. It is highlighting it. Although it does seem to highlight bookcase for the majority of the time. And that should be about right. It's also recommending a serving table, but we don't have prisoner needs on, so we don't have to feed them. Over to this room here, and this is going to be a morgue. As I said originally, in previous episodes, we were going to move the cleaning cupboards and such. I think it's just overcomplicating matters. Let's just change this to what we have here. I'm going to dismantle the door on the front there. We're going to go over to flooring and then white tiles. Actually, is it white tiles? It is white tiles. Yes, it is. So we'll place all of that there. Go over to objects, over to the morgue slab. And then, do I really want to have it full morgue slab? Uh, it's expensive, but I think worth it. And there we go. If that ever gets filled, then something has gone drastically wrong in the facility. The reason I'm changing this door is because prisoners are not required uh, access. They don't have uh, access. It's access is not required into this room. So having the staff door is worth it. Also, we'll go over to deployment and then the staff only, which oh, it's already done anyway because I've done that previously. There we are. So that's fine. Anyway, so we can see over here we have prisoner... Dali, who is shouting about something, and where is the other prisoner? Have they been escorted? They should have been escorted. There they are. They are getting escorted now. So we do have the phone booths here. Utilities, connections, they are connected. Oh, no, they're not connected up. They're not connected up. There's the phone taps connected up now, so we can listen in on uh, <laughs> Adam Newbatty's is this, is fresh, Prisoner Fresh Fish. Um, I'm not too sure what it actually means, Fresh Fish. I don't know if they have like a high rate to be picked upon or anything like that. I'm not too sure. Anyway, that is now sorted. That's done over there. We have that unlocked door opener. Yes, we do. So let's just get on with this bit here. So I'll go over to flooring and then to the grass. I'm not going to designate this as a yard. I don't think it is necessary. Um, although we might. We might designate it as a yard. I haven't yet decided. We've got park benches. Um, I don't know if we want a park bench around here. It might be nice to have a park bench like overlooking the lake a little bit. I might, yeah, that's quite nice actually. We've also got bench oak which we're not going to place. We have uh, the table oak. No, that's too regal. <laughs> um, it's like there should be a fantasy uh, boss at the other end of the table. Out, speaking of tables, we've got some outdoor tables here. Those fit in quite nicely there. And actually what I'll do is I'll remove those. Place them a little bit further back like so. And then have the uh, wooden tables around here. With like the stools around, like that. Can't be a nice stool. And then maybe a couple of bushes in, like so, like that. There we are. Right, so there's that. I will, I will designate that as a yard. Because it means that the guards tend to congregate round rooms, especially the yard, and prisoners will also do so as well. I'm uh, going to go over to our grants and decrease our bank loan, because I have been sitting on a 50 grand bank loan for quite some time, hence why we are uh, losing some, some money there. So it's, uh, I think, a decent thing to do. We're going to go over to intake, turn off our criminally insane and prisoner transfer as well because I think that would be the right thing to do. You can see people are all standing around there and we have oh a lot of people working in here. Let's have a quick look at that. So we're going to go over to our programs. Kitchen safety and hygiene. We have a total of 32 passed. 82% pass for it. So we have a lot of people working in there. This is good because we have two eat times if we check our regime. One between 9 and well, it's actually at yeah, 9 and 11. And then we have one between 9 and 11 again. However, a lot of people will work 
then have the lock up and obviously you can see most of the food has started to be cooked anyway for this eat time so it takes a lot of pressure off of those uh, those kitchen staff off the chefs to be fair not at the start we could change it around chop and change but I think what we have here is perfectly acceptable so um, what we need to do is have a little bit of an increase in security and that means putting in some road gates so once again, doing things that we probably should have done in quite some time last. Uh, we're going to go over to our Elbian walls, technically. Uh, the road gate and the road barrier. The road gate will go there. It'll go a little bit further ahead there. Now, this is problematic because of where it's going to be placed. Um, there is the only place we can have it. And we'll have our fence run along there and then run up here now this fence i do want to have a fence running there and then a fence going along there the reason for that is we'll have the road gate and then the road barrier but the road barrier is 10 grand and i really can't afford it also yeah we might have to move that around We'll have to see about that one. So that is now put in, but it doesn't have an automatic door opener on it. And I think it is best to always have an automatic door opener on these things, like so. That also means, though, running electrical cable. So we'll run that across and then down. And the same thing here, but this is going to be a bit more difficult because we have, as you can see, the... Uh, the water in the way there as well. I'm going to do a full shakedown tonight because we haven't done one in a while and I have a feeling that there's, a, I don't know, just a, a gut instinct that there's some tunnels that we haven't found. So we'll have to check that out. There's an overdose there. It looks like, uh, yeah, they've actually been uh, found straight away there. And we will turn off free fire because, actually, no, let's, oh, dear me, actually, let's check that out. A lot of blood around there and a couple of shotgun shells. So nothing was alerted that there was something kicking off here. But, hmm, let's follow the trail, shall we? Big pile of blood. Blood, 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 and then it stops. Oh, no, blood, blood, and there he is. Yes, Felix, who is currently leaving a bit of claret on the pavement as he goes all the way to the infirmary. Right, full shakedown tonight. Let's go. 735 places to look at. Ah, today's beverage is green tea. And let's see if we find any tunnels. If we don't find any tunnels, I am going to do another tunnel search because, as I said, something just doesn't feel right. I do genuinely believe that there is another tunnel somewhere that we have not yet found. Uh, looks like they're still placing all of this stuff in, which is fine. Going to double check down the bottom here for the power grid. This power grid is running a little bit hot. Oh, there's a death straight away. And, oh, Adam Naubati. Yes, as we expected, legendary. We did guesstimate that, and it was a very educated guess. Looks like they have kicked off in their cells. They have damaged and destroyed the TV, the bed, the chair, all the drain in the shower and everything else. And obviously water is now spilling out. Legendary prisoner. Extremely strong, tough, volatile, stalkal, deadly, fearless, and expert fighter. So there we are. Um, we expected this. We expected A, them to be... A legend prisoner and B for them to kick off, which is why we put them here. Having it on free fire, I don't think is overzealous, because all that would happen is that that prisoner would then kill the armed guard, take the shotgun, and then cause more carnage with it. Um, I would have much liked them to be uh, pacified rather than well that, but there you go. Um, that's now, I guess, something we have to repair. And deal with. Wow. And obviously that's going to reduce our valuation as well. Yes, it is. We do own 100% of our prison and only have a 25,000 loan. We are finding a lot of uh, digging tools here. In fact, there is a wooden pickaxe. Now, I'm going to guesstimate that that has been stolen from the cleaning cupboard.
No. The wooden pickaxe has been stolen from the workshop. What's that a pair of scissors? That'll be from the library. Okay. Right, interesting. Yeah, you can get it from the workshop and you can get it, I believe, from the cleaning cupboard because... Uh, dangers. Or clubs can be found from there, sorry. Yeah. Wooden pickaxe from there. And from here, a saw, an axe, and a spade. But not a pickaxe. Right, okay. Um, we found a tunnel. We have found a tunnel. And, oh! Quite interesting. You can see that there's a tunnel being dug from near the top part of this facility, the cell block, up and right near the edge. That's actually in the danger level, that, because as soon as it gets to here, it's a very, very easy tunnel solution. And also, it's only one away from these toilets. Which means if these guys decide to join in, that could be a runaway escape. Like, it's very, very quickly for that to just run away and whew, go straight up and out. Like, if we didn't search, if we didn't find that tonight, very... I don't think it's unrealistic for that tunnel to be at the end by tomorrow night, the night after at the uh, latest. Okay, so... Um, we do have these door openers now in. I'm going to connect up the door servos, like so. And max speed that out. And that's still not powered up. Has to go there. Yeah, that's fine. We have the fence all the way around. Obviously, the garbage and the other things have been shrunk down a little bit. That's not too much of a problem. We are now into positive daily cash flow. There's some intake there, but nothing to really worry about. Speaking of intake, looks like prisoner transfer is something you only get now and again. Currently unavailable. It stops you getting in legendary prisoners. Yeah. I wonder what we could have done to maybe soften the blow on that one. Not having it on free fire is obviously... A possibility, but I've explained my decisions why I think it's, in this case, the right choice. In terms of bureaucracy, there's nothing we could have unlocked that would have helped. Um, it's unlock legal for the crack, because it's so funny, obviously. Uh, guard towers wouldn't have helped. They don't get out here. Um, one could argue that it's actually more secure, and I think I, I would probably say successfully argue that you're best to have sealed off units for these high risk inmates and legendary prisoners, having then guard towers on the outside, especially behind fences. When they come out, they will fire warning shots, and normally a lot of them will then put their hands up. Um, they'll then take an actual shot, not normally killing the prisoner, then they'll start to put their hands up. Anyone that's left will normally be the sort of extremely vo extremely stoical, volatile, basically fearless, doesn't give a hoot, and will do pretty much whatever. So there you are. Right. So let's go over to walls and... Oh, flooring, actually. Flooring. And we'll have... I just realised you can place them like that. Place a little bit under. Huh. Fair enough. Here you can. Yeah, there we are. And we're going to be placing the walkways around here. Now, I'm actually going to triple layer it like that, I think. That would be better. And this is where we have the walkways that go around the majority of the facility. And it's going to be in the centre. Or at least in the centre as we can manage, you understand. A gap of two towards the edge, so that's fine. Uh, that will do us quite nicely. It's going to be expensive to do, so I'm not going to be able to do it all in one go. Um, I did discuss last episode about placing perimeter walls in. It's not going to happen. Um, for a couple of reasons. Quite honestly, money is the main reason. It is stupidly expensive to put perimeter walls in. We would simply not be able to afford a full perimeter wall in here. It's just not going to happen. Um, let's just... Let's just see how much this row of uh, wall would be. Uh, walls and doors. Perimeter wall. Just this little section is 20 grand. Alright. 
So for this little section, it's 20 grand. Considering we have to go at the end, that's 40 grand. So it'll be 40, uh, 60, probably 80, 100, 120, 120, give or take 30 grand, I would say. Uh, one could argue barbed wire as well, but then again, this is a low-risk facility. I don't think we need any of that. That's not what we're going for, so we're not going to do it. Having the road gates is certainly a decent choice. A road barrier would be quite good as well. And is that prisoner? Uh, prisoner? Is that guy trying to get to there to put the f fence in? I think they are, aren't they? Yes, they are. So what I'll do is demolish that wall. I'll prioritise that and then let them build that bit of fencing. Then I'll place that last section in and that should be okay. The other section is in as well and job done. So this is just the walkway around the outside, you see. This is just for patrolling if we set up any patrols, which we haven't done, but there is always the option there for it. I'll also want to be placing eventually some grass there as well, but quite frankly we need another four grand just to finish that off let's place as much as we can there we go so while we're waiting for funds let's have a little chat this facility uh 22 episodes i think total of 58 days not finished yet but obviously about the 60 day mark there to a total completion total play time 10 hours 47 minutes so we'll call it 11 hours when we're all said and done and there's a ding -ling noise to indicate that we have now got legal unlocked. We haven't unlocked death row, legal prep, permanent punishments, or small cells. Nor are we going to be doing that. The original idea for the facility was mainly to try out the Psych Ward DLC. This was brand new, something I'd never played, even when not recording. It was something that I just wanted to try in the series and uh, learn sort of together and play together, which is, I believe, what we have done quite successfully. The original intention as well was to not have a very regimented prison. Normally, we would plan everything off in excruciating detail towards the start of the series. We would then build and then get prisoners sort of mid towards the series. We'd build sort of three or four episodes and then get prisoners, and that's just how we do things. We decided to mix that up for a couple of reasons. A, variety, being the spice of life and all of that, and B, it was the unknown factor. Psych Ward, unknown. We didn't know what was going to happen with the new inmates, whether we would have to radically change the design, whether they would alter it in an unknown way, and we'd have to account for that. As it stands, we pretty much got it right, I believe. The criminally insane wing has been off to this side or, uh, for pretty much the, well, it has been for the start uh, and to the end of the series. It has been perfectly fine. Danger level is going up for some reason. I'm not too sure why. Hmm, don't know. Uh, but yes, it's been one escape. Oh! Oh! An escape! There. We've had an escape there. I did not see that. That's all set up as it should be. This is all staff only. And it says an escape was over there. No tunnels. Tunnel search. Let's go. Is there a tunnel around here? Tunnel there, perhaps. Doesn't look to be. See that there? There's the bug. Dog handle gets stuck. Dog's going off. Yep. Just a problem. I genuinely don't know how they've got over that. They've managed to get over that fence and over that one and escape over there. There's one tunnel found. Wow. Has that been... a double over the wall run with a... 
with a set of uh, sheets from the laundry. But it can't because criminally insane don't go over there. So they can't steal it. Nothing found around here. This is all staff only. So I genuinely don't know how they've got out there. If it says down that corner. Wow. Um, by all means, if you know, post it in the comments. Because that, at the moment, remains a mystery to me. Interesting. Anyway, I digress. Um, where were we? Yes, speaking on the uh, overall design and layout. This was always designed to be the the new stuff so always going to be the um, criminally insane wing and it's worked out quite well we didn't need the amount of psychiatrist offers as I thought I'd require certainly didn't require the amount of um, the amount of security and things like that I think these can be quite happily integrated into the body of the any sort of facility especially when you consider that this is low risk, anything of, above that might be a problem because these criminally insane inmates, although they've not caused any bother for us, and remember we do have odd layers to look after them that have sedated them, uh, we are running treatments, all of that sort of thing, but a lot of them do have things like, you know, there's volatile, we've had uh, insomniac, uh, quick stokel, you have some ones that are uh, strong, you have traits that you would consider to be potentially of uh, some problem however we've never had any great issue with them at all it's always just been um, very passive um, and that sort of thing so it's I think it's because we have run treatments we've looked after them we've done all of the things that I believe we uh, needed to do so quite uh, happy with that let's just run some of these uh, extra bits in obviously the walkways and all the connections and such that's in there yeah, I'm just wondering how that escape could have been uh, could have been perpetrated. Interesting. I'm guessing it is just an over the fence type job. It could have been tunnels, but I mean, you would have thought we'd seen it. You would have thought we'd seen the tunnels, but uh, obviously not. This what I'm putting in here is just going to be the extra grass bit around it. Now this will not have any uh, any hedges in it it would be purposely cleared of all of that sort of thing all of this you want a clear line of sight between the two walls you don't want anything um, impeding line of sight in real life obviously that's how it would how it would be um put grass on this side as well same sort of thing when it comes to the exports and stuff we could do we want to put um Do you want to put, like, any tiles in? I think we probably do. I think we probably do. You can see the forestry is working as well now, which is quite good. And people are actually working in the forestry. Although they're not assigned to forestry as a job. No. They are assigned to the workshop. So that is fine. Speaking of workshop, let's have a quick look at the programs. Still running programs, which is quite good. Happy with that. And also... Three finished, three passed. So we have got people which can work on the carpenter's tables. Excellent. It doesn't necessarily mean that people are working on the carpenter's tables because uh, if you get stuck there, you just get sacked. Um, in fact, while we're, while we're on that... Oh, no. I was going to say I'll sack them around here, but they've actually moved, so good luck to them. One more worker. There we are. Yeah. Um, it's it doesn't mean that the people are actually in here that are able to work on there. They could have hap they could have been paroled, for all we know. But at least some people have passed uh, that training course, which I'm happy to see. Remaining bit of grass to go in here, and obviously I'm sh I'm I'm sure there's going to be bits that we have messed out uh, missed out here, but it's not of any great importance. I haven't got this bit around here. I'm not going to put in a fence just to place that, though. I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, the gar uh, garbage goes up to there, I believe. No, there. 
there, perhaps. I'll check. I'll check in but a moment. Also, it's sleep time. I'm going to do another shakedown. Can't get it out of my head that there's a tunnel around here that I haven't found. It's unlikely, but we shall see. But anyway, going back to the facility. When we originally designed it, we did want it to be very higgledy-piggledy, as I described it. <laughs> um, something that was a bit... Um, less regimented, less set out. We did still want to have a fairly decent plan of what we wanted to accomplish, so we still planned off the rough idea for the building, where certain things were going to be, so we knew we were going to have the criminally insane down here, the admin admin wing here with reception, and we planned off specifically the one-way system for visitors to come, which I'm, th I'm happy to say has worked, which is quite good. We wanted like a treatment section in the centre. We decided immediately to have a, um, a centralised kitchen area, and then have people deliver the food to the wings, which are not enclosed. These obviously have kitchens, showers, common rooms, yards. Um, with the in, uh, with each of these cell blocks, but we didn't have them enclosed. We decided to purposely have it like that just for something a bit different. Obviously, we don't have also the uh, Fog of Warren as well, which has made a big difference. I'm a big fan of that, so I think we will run future series potentially without the Fog of War. I just think it's a lot better looking. It's a lot uh, more viewable, and overall, I think it's been received quite well. We have the cells, so instead of having the centralised corridor, we've put them on either side, again, for something different. The whole decent, uh, the whole centralised kitchen hasn't seemed to have uh, really impaired the running of the place. It does have its disadvantages. It means that you have to travel a lot further, which means they cook more, which means overall more staff. But if you have people working there, that takes the edge off. It is quite close anyway, although this is, I believe, a large map. Um, it seems to have worked perfectly well. The, obviously, green space thing seems to have uh, worked out quite nicely. It does look very, very nice. I think it's one of the better-looking facilities that we've made. I actually prefer the random placement of the bushes and the trees to this more uh, curated park type of arrangement. I think that's just... A bit better so I would redo these to have a random assortment of trees bushes and plants um, I think I would probably I think the centralized kitchen and canteen can work but I think in future it was a good experiment I don't know if I would necessarily do it again but I'm also not ruling it out in terms of this with one-way system that's worked out very well Adding a lot of the new stuff in, like the dog balls and things like that, that's all worked out. Um, it does give a slight boost of stamina. The main real issues we've had are bugs. These bridges, they just don't work properly. Originally, they were added so you could go over um, the roads, and which was something we have not tested, but over the roads and over the water, which is why we put water on. Again, I think that also makes it look very nice. People get stuck on it and have been getting stuck in it since the start of the series. It may have improved. It doesn't seem to have as many dogs getting stuck on it and things like that, but it's far from ideal. People still tend to congregate around there and we have had some problems. So that is an issue. Sadly, that's something we cannot uh, fix. But I do like that we've incorporated it into the design. Just would hope that that is improved in future builds. We've tried many, many things, none of which really worked. Sad to see that a bug's been introduced like that, especially when it's like a new thing and not being patched out. It might just be because this is an older save. Maybe if you start a new save, it uh, fixes that. Maybe it is a completely isolate, isolated incident and it's only me that's been affected by this. If that's the case, then fair enough. But uh, so far, don't know don't know if that is the case at all actually let me check uh, the rooms here I want to check that uh, yes there is a little bit of a gap there between these and between exports in there as well very difficult to see but it is there and then we're going to place the flooring in like so and then up to there as well because we do have a fair number of exports but overall in terms of the design we wanted something that was uh, with a lot of open areas and green space, which we've accomplished, something that was a bit different, which I think we've accomplished, something which we had 
criminally insane mates that effectively looked after them and treated them, I would suggest that yes, we've done that. None of these prisoners have ever, as far as I can see, have ever gone over this uh, into the third bar. So we have been looking after them. And to be fair, our treatment does sort of point to that. 54, uh, 54 treated, 100% pass rate. We've treated all the prisoners that need to be treated. In terms of grading, reoffending rate is 4%, one of the lowest reoffending rates we've had, although we have got low risk prisoners. So it was always going to be quite low. If we were medium and high risk, that would be a lot different. Deaths in custody, 4, not brilliant, but you know, not great, not terrible. It's uh, it's not 3.6, but it's close to. Um, prisoner escape, two, and one of them being this episode. So again, in terms of, in that regard, very, very good. Paroled early, 204 with a 4% reoffending rate. Again, very, very good. Punishment, almost maximum on nine. Excellent. We're doing solitary. We are doing punishments. We are doing um, lockdowns. And we are doing uh, two hours of lockdown uh, per day. Reform is seven. So could be higher, but certainly very, very good. We're running almost, if not every program that we could possibly can when it comes to reform. We've got alcohol group therapy. We've got pharmacological treatment to drug addiction. Uh, we've got all of that running. We've got people working and training in the workshop, in the kitchen, people working in laundry. All of the auxiliary buildings are in with people are working there. Security almost maxed out. Not too sure what I would need to max that out. But we've got armed guards where we need them, which is... I was going to call it the... Uh, the protective custody but it's more like the high risk slash legendary wing at this stage and we've got not a lot of suppression about so that's fine health is still at only one so it's a bit of a shame that we couldn't get that higher i don't know what we would do to increase that we do have if we check out our policy here meal quantity and variety at high we are using cell quality ratings although we're not uh, we don't have any cell quality variations anyway um, in terms of regime, two eat times, so that's fine. And overall, quite happy. If it wasn't for the issue with the footbridges and the thing we don't talk of, which was the fence being in the wrong position, that we had to then move it in by one, which I almost forgot about, um, it would be pretty much a perfect build. Either way, very, very happy with what we have accomplished. Would I go back and do any major changes? Probably not. I would certainly change up the walls so they were the, the, the external walls to be in the right place. Um, I would not build it with the amount of bridges that we have because of, well, there's your sort of proof of proof we needed that things don't always work. Um, but that's not really a fault of the design, more of a fault with the game. Like I said, it might be an isolated incident. It might just be because this is an old save started when there was a problems. It could have been a myriad of other things, so I don't want to go ahead and bash that too much. It's just in this build and this experience. Um, I would probably, I would probably go ahead and get medium risk prisoners. I would probably do that uh, before really filling up the facility, knowing what we know now, hindsight being what it is. And then with medium risk prisoners, we would have to then use this as our protective custody. But I mean, there's, you know, that's all sort of small things. I guess we don't need all of these psychologists, but if we do have medium, that would work. If we were to continue on with this build, which I'm not going to do, I'm not going to expand it, I would certainly transition over to medium prisoners and then perhaps expand most likely to the right hand side have footbridges going across, although we've seen what those can do, and having in higher risk and maybe even death row. But that's normally one of those default options you do is, uh, is a little extra challenge. Yeah, I think I would probably, the main change, if any, would be to increase our, increase our criminally insane inmate intake and maybe have a full criminally insane prison, which will be the next build that we do or whatever people would fancy and suggest either way that has been a bit of prison architect interesting build different build checking out the psych ward stuff overall quite happy and i hope it's been an interesting one for you um like obviously uh, 
very good seeing people's comments and suggestions and uh, following one from that either way hope you have enjoyed the full series next couple of episodes will be your typical uh, escape attempts we might give escape attempts a go because we haven't done so in a facility this large obviously we'll do the uh, we'll do the uh, extreme testing initiatives see what happens when you put it through certain stimuli which is things like giving everybody certain weapons and letting them fight and all of that sort of thing we shall see how we get on with that one as always so we have enjoyed the series and thanks for watching take care and generic partings <laughs>